Hey everyone, and welcome back. Let's talk about something most developers dread, the technical interview. That pressure, the whiteboard coding, explaining your thoughts on the fly, it's intense. Preparing for it is crucial, but finding good, realistic practice, that can be really tough. What if you had an AI practice partner available anytime that could not only ask questions, but guide you, understand your drawings, and give detailed feedback. Well, that's exactly what I built for my Google Generative AI Capstone project. Today, I'm going to show you my AI mock technical interviewer, built using Google Gemini and the awesome LangGraph framework. Stick around to see how it works, watch a live demo, and dive into some of the cool tech behind it. So, why build this? Like many of you watching, I'm actually preparing for interviews myself right now. I was watching mock interviews online, grinding lead code, but I felt something was missing. You know, solving a problem alone is one thing, but explaining it clearly under pressure is another beast. I realized I needed practice interacting, but finding experienced people with the time and skill to give good, specific feedback consistently, that's hard. I thought, there has to be a way artificial intelligence can help bridge this gap. That's where this project started. So, I created an artificial intelligence agent designed to act like a helpful, structured interviewer. It doesn't just ask random questions, it guides you through a coding problem from a filtered, hand-picked list. And with that, let's jump right into the demo. Okay, let's see this thing in action. Here's the interface loaded up in my browser using Gradio. The interviewer introduces itself and asks me to choose a question. I can ask it to list options or pick one randomly. Let's ask him what questions he has. Okay, looks like we have topics like array manipulation, linked lists. Let's ask it for an easy array problem. All right, there is one such question. Let's pick it. I'll confirm I want that one. Now let's pretend I'm thinking through the approach. I can type my thoughts, but let's also use the whiteboard. Let's draw a little example here. Little explanation with text and example inputs and outputs on the whiteboard. When using the whiteboard, you should still always write your thoughts in the input text field. Imagine it like in the interview, you just silently, randomly start drawing on the whiteboard. Wouldn't it be strange? Here, let's choose the brush size and start drawing our inputs, numbers array and target value, and outputs. Okay, I sent my explanation along with the drawing. Watch this. The Gemini uses its image understanding capabilities to understand the sketch. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's add some code. Maybe this code is not ideal. Maybe I have a flaw in it. You see how it catches the flaw, but don't give it right away. It asks me to run the example myself to find that this code would sum the same elements, which is forbidden by the problem statement. Okay, let's say I've finished the problem and want to end the interview. I need to confirm that I actually want to do it. Now, the magic happens in the background. The agent analyzes everything. It takes the conversation transcript along with the problem statement. It analyzes how the user interacted during the interview and how well the code was written. Look at this detailed report. 
It gives specific strengths and weaknesses with evidence from our chat, and even suggests learning resources backed by Google search. This is way more actionable than just practice more. And of course, we can download it. So, how does all that work? It's a combination of a few key technologies. Google Gemini is a powerful AI brain doing the language understanding, image analysis, feedback generation, and tool use. Langgraph is the director. It defines the interview flow as a state machine, managing the conversation turn by turn. Think of it like a flowchart for the AI agent. Langchain provides the essential building blocks to connect everything smoothly. And Gradio makes building this interactive web UI incredibly fast. This graph structure is key. It allows the AI to remember context, decide whether to talk, use a tool, or end the interview, making it much smarter than a simple back and forth chatbot. Let's peek under the hood at a couple of interesting bits. Building this wasn't always straightforward. First, managing the interview state in Langgraph. We needed to track messages, the current question, the code, and whether we're finished. Langgraph uses a simple Python dictionary for this. Now, the tricky part was making tools that change this state. Most tools just fetch data, but when I select a question, the tool needs to update the active question in the state. This required a custom node in Langgraph. Getting this state update logic right within the graph flow took some head scratching, but was crucial. Another cool part was getting that structured feedback report. Instead of just asking Gemini for text, I gave it a specific blueprint using pedantic models. This tells Gemini exactly how to format the output, ensuring the report is always consistent and easy to display. The biggest challenge overall? Definitely prompt engineering, teaching the AI exactly how to behave like a good interviewer, handle hints, and integrate the whiteboard feedback took tons of iteration. You write a prompt, test it, find edge cases, tweak it, repeat. Also, understanding some of Langgraph's more advanced concepts like custom nodes and state manipulation required digging into the docs. So what's next for this AI interviewer? It's a solid foundation, but there's always more. My top priorities would be voice interaction, adding speech to text and text to speech would make it feel way more immersive and natural. That's number one, code execution. Imagine the AI actually running your code against test cases. That would provide even deeper technical feedback. Despite the current limitations like not running code, I think this tool can be incredibly helpful for anyone preparing for interviews. From beginners needing guided practice to experienced devs wanting to polish their communication Building this project was an amazing learning experience. Combining stateful agents with Langgraph, the power of Gemini's multimodality and function calling, and creating a genuinely useful application. It really shows how AI can be a partner in learning and preparation. If you want to dive deeper into the code, try it out yourself or read the detailed blog post. Check out the link to the Kaggle notebook in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comments. What features would you add? Would you use something like this? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.